I love getting suggestions for new reviews from my YouTube audience. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and this is one a few of you have asked me to try. This is the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin. In this review, I'll take a look at what this speaker is, what it can do, how it sounds, and if I think it's a good pick for you. An early heads up, if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, to please hit that like button and consider becoming a subscriber. Both those things do help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. So what is the Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin? Simply put, this is a premium connected speaker with the option of adding Alexa voice control. It's designed to be a bigger, louder, and more beautiful alternative to the standard smart speaker or digital assistant device. It's AC powered, but it can play music wirelessly using Bluetooth or AirPlay. It may be important to point out that this is a big and heavy speaker, so you'll want a special place to show it off that's stable. It weighs about 6.5 kilos or 14.5 pounds. For those looking for the details on this speaker, there are two 25mm double dome tweeters, two 90mm mid-range speakers, and one 150mm or 6 inch subwoofer inside here. The setup process for the speaker was a breeze. Plug it in and it will be in pairing mode automatically. You can download the Bowers & Wilkins Music app for remote control and some additional functions too. Tap to add your speaker into the app and in seconds it will find the speaker and connect. You can use the Bowers & Wilkins Music app to connect to music services like Spotify, Tidal, Deezer, and more for seamless listening. One of the cool extra touches as part of this speaker is the undermount LED light that almost makes the speaker look like it's floating on soft light. If you want to take advantage of the smarts of a digital voice assistant and add it as one of the speakers in your smart home, you'll want to set up Alexa. Using Alexa will allow you to treat your Zeppelin as if it were a smart home speaker, asking questions, setting timers, making lists, and controlling other smart home gadgets, and of course, controlling your music as well. Getting this set up happens inside the Bowers & Wilkins app. Just tap on the Alexa button, then follow the on-screen instructions to sign into your Amazon account and link these two services together. From there, you'll be able to talk to your Zeppelin speaker and ask it to play music, adjust the volume, and lots more. Play Foo Fighters music. While the phone or voice control are ways Here's to use your Zeppelin, there are also physical Amazon buttons either. on the back if you need them. There's volume up and down, play pause, a multi-function button, and an Alexa call button. With your speaker connected to Alexa, you can play music on one speaker or the whole home. Bowers & Wilkins also says the system's going to be upgradable too, so as new music services or technologies are added, you can connect to them. Worth noting, however, is that it does not have the Google Assistant enabled for this speaker. <laughs> There are three ways to play music on this speaker. You can use the Bowers & Wilkins Music app to choose your music and then play, pause, and navigate using Bluetooth. You can use your phone and Apple AirPlay if you're an Apple user, and you can use voice control and ask Alexa to play music using one of her approved connected services. Apple Music is not supported on this device. It's worth pointing out here that it's not possible to use Apple Music with this speaker if you're using the Alexa voice control. Now you can use AirPlay from your phone, but not the Alexa voice control. It seems kind of weird, but I guess AirPlaying from your Apple Music app on your phone to the speaker is the workaround. If you do want to use AirPlay, just load up your Apple Music app, then pull up the menu from the bottom drawer there. Your speaker should appear using whichever name you assign to it. Let's get to what you really want to know. How does this speaker sound? One of the first things I noticed is this speaker is not just room filling, it's house filling. At this size, perhaps that's not surprising, but it does get quite loud. At about one third volume, it is plenty loud enough to hear from another room and almost too loud to sit close to. The speaker has bass you can feel with a vibrant thrum. You get all the low end you could ask for and then some. The highs and the mids are clear and delicate and the vocals come across beautifully. One strange oddity I did notice is that when using Alexa to control the volume, the steps between each level are massive. Turn the volume up. I needed to use either my phone or the buttons on the speaker to gain more subtle ups and downs, but I'd say it took about 15 presses on a volume button to equal one jump using the Alexa voice control. 
Oddly, later in my testing, I also started to see misunderstandings where I'd ask for volume adjustments and assistant would change the song. Maybe a Wii firmware update is needed. Alexa, turn the volume up. Overall, this speaker is a beautiful addition to my home. Its gorgeous lines are modern but unique, and it looks sculptural and sexy. It was a breeze to set up, and Alexa connects easily for seamless, helpful voice control. Plus, the sound quality makes it one of the best and most powerful speakers I've heard in a long time. Downsides? Perhaps just that wee oddity where Alexa's voice control over the volume stops makes them too big a jump. I'm hopeful this is a software thing that can be remedied in a future firmware update. Overall, I can definitely recommend the Bowers & Wilkins Zeppelin for you and for your smart home. The speaker sells for about $899 US dollars and you can get it from Bowers & Wilkins website or from Amazon. If you want to read this review or reference any of what I've talked about here, head over to techgadgetscanada.com for a full write-up. There you can ask me any questions you have about this speaker. You can also post them here in comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Erin. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also always catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.